information about uh, what our system is doing so we are majorly into a system integration and automation projects and uh, uh, some are our products like easy vbi and uh, cms so easy vbi is uh, just a a uh, configuration tool is very effective if you have your vbi script so you can use that tool easy vbi tool which gives you the added functionality of uh, log viewers right and uh, cms is a calibration management system so basically to manage the all instruments related information for your calibrating your field instruments yeah so the these are two uh, two of our products and uh, majorly we are involved in a uh, projects in automobile and semiconductor industries so in 2014 we have been awarded uh, ni engineering impact award we were the runner up and in 2014 we were the winner of ni same ni engineering impact award yeah so let's start the presentation uh the title or the theme of the presentation is uh, dvf that is data value reference so uh, before going into data value reference uh, we have to be clear about uh, what is call by value and what is call by reference right so let's uh, put some insight and learn about what is call by value and call by references so before that uh, uh, would like to introduce uh, maybe uh, lab view users may not be familiar with these uh, two terms that is actual parameter and uh, formal parameters but uh, the other languages the text based languages these two terminologies are very familiar so uh, what are these two parameters like the actual parameter and formal parameters like the parameter pass to a function is called actual parameter and the parameters received by function are called formal parameters for example if there is a function called add okay so that add function if it is receiving any parameter so that can be called a formal parameter and a parameter which some another function or some outside of the function passing it to are called actual parameters okay so these two terminologies will be uh, i will be using uh, to explain this call by value and call by references okay so let's start with call by value so uh, what actually call by value is like all of you have understood that there are two uh, parameters actual parameter and functional parameter so if you pass that value If we create a copy, when we create a copy of the parameter, the actual parameter will be copied in a separate parameter. So now we have two copies of the uh, values. So when you are passing such functions, executing it is called by value. Okay. So if you are using a copy by value, we are creating a copies. Okay. And if change, you will make a function. Okay, the change of the value will not be replicated or will not affect the actual parameter. That is something outside of your function. Okay, so this thing is there. So you can see on the screen, right? The A, the class test class A is your actual parameter which you are passing to the function change. Okay. and in change value you are having a formal parameter x so when you will get output and if you are in your function you are updating your formal parameter and you, after that you get output so both a and x you will get a different values okay because you are changing your formal parameter in a function and that has nothing to do with your actual parameter that is a so yeah you have two copies and both are having different values in it okay so let's see what is call by value in lab view okay so lab view inherently or by default all the things are by value because if you create a wire if you create a branch from anywhere so both the branches 
are having a different instance right both are different it get copied it get created a different instance for that okay so if you put input and output wires to modify the values if you have to pass a value to any another sub vi or any other module so you have to pass the value pass the wire okay from the output of a one vi to the input of the another vi okay so this is called by value in lab view so every time you draw wire you are passing by value you are getting calling a call by value function okay right so now let's go to what is call by reference okay so again we have two parameters actual parameter and formal parameters but while you are doing call by reference so both the parameters are pointing towards the same location same memory location okay. for example here you can see a again and then the temp object okay so these two parameters actual parameter and formal parameters are pointing towards the same location any changes made inside the function will also reflected in a actual parameter of the caller right for example this class test class you have your actual parameter here and in the change value function you are modifying the parameter so that change will also be replicate replicated in a actual parameter so you can see in output both the values are same because both the parameters pointing towards the same memory location so in this case you are doing a memory optimization also okay so now let's see how it can be done in lab view okay so in lab view data will be stored in one memory location okay so any change like we have seen earlier in a different vi if you are passing it by reference so you can see here i am having this two methods first one is set led state and the next one is get led state okay so if you are getting led state value and if you are doing any updates in that and it is a call by reference then it will get replicated in your uh, set led state because both are pointing toward the same location okay so but it does not follow the paradigm of lab view data flow paradigm right because it's not a sequential uh, flow of data values right so such kind of things can be useful when you have to uh, continuously monitor your uh, state of leds or state of any parameters continuously but you don't have to pass a value every time right so you can uh, reserve the memory location from where you will read it and the other instance of your code can write into that memory location okay so let's see uh, what are the actual uh, modules or actual vi's used for this uh, purpose of call by reference okay so here there is a small uh, picturization what is call by reference and call by value so consider this fill cup as a function so you can see in a pass by value only the fill cup the parameter in the fill cup is getting filled right because it won't affect your actual parameter okay and in pass by references both are getting filled right because it will replicate the formal every change in the formal parameter will replicate in the actual parameters okay yeah so now we'll come to the main topic of this presentation that is dvr that is data value reference okay so in lab view you are having new data value reference the node which you can use to create any input to create any input as a reference okay so for example right now here i am having a double the value inside is 101 and what this new data value reference will do it will make a reference of this particular parameter of this particular value right so right now you are the output of this new data value reference is a reference now if you have to manipulate that data update that data or access that data somewhere in your program 
program you have to use this reference throughout your program throughout your application okay and how to access it how to modify it now we have the in place element structure okay all of you must have uh, already familiar with this structure so in in place element structure you have a dvr write and read dvr option okay through which what you can do you can read the reference and then you will get a you will get the exact value what is stored in that reference in that particular reference now inside this in plus element structure you can do the operation like here you can see on your screen there is a add function and then you have passed that value and again the output of this in plus element structure is again a reference okay so again in some another piece of your code you can use this reference and get the updated value that you have updated in this in plus element structure so now all of the things will be passed on by reference you are not passing the actual value like you do while passing a, a normal wire okay so you can see the data type is also different for a reference and there is one more node called delete data value reference so in your program in your application if you think now you have done with your uh, parameters and you want to close the reference like you do in your data cleanup uh, data cleanup cases in your program wherever you want to call this data cleanup so here you can do that uh, you can delete the reference right so you know in lab you if you open any reference we have to close that reference so same likewise we have to delete this reference for that delete data value reference is a node which you can use it okay yeah okay so let's uh, go through some of the specifications of uh, this two type of terminologies call by value and call by references so in call by value data on the wire needs to be updated and pass if you have to update and access the data you have to pass a wire okay multiple copies are created if you are creating a wire branch okay and it fulfills the paradigm of lab view data flow right and this is been widely used in a conventional lab view programming because all of the wires in a lab view are call by values okay so whereas in call by reference you don't need to pass the value you don't need to pass the data itself you have to pass the reference and the data is stored in that reference okay the same memory location is used to access or update the data okay and uh, yeah there is one thing the reference can get logged if uh, if you are updating uh, the reference if updating updating any data in that reference so uh, the reference is getting logged okay so you have to be caref careful while updating the values in the references okay so yeah in hardware resources like dacamex and visa it is very beneficial to use by call by references and this call by reference can be effectively used in uh, if you are doing a lab view object oriented programming approach if you are using that architecture you can use this call by reference uh, very effectively okay yeah so uh, here are some of the uh, places where you can use call by references so if you are having a shared resources in application okay we have to use in many places like the configurations you have to use so in that case you can use a call by references if you are using a hardware resources like in a dacamex or visa you can use the call by reference and for example if you are having a big chunk of data like a big cluster that you uh, want to access or modify most of the places in your application right so every time you will pass a value or create a branch or create a wire branch and passing the wires so what it will do it will create a copy every time you create a branch out of it okay so buffer allocations will come into picture then the memory optimization also will not be very effective okay so in the in that case you can use a call by reference so that you will provide a reference 
and then it will read all the data all the values from that reference and uh, update it or access it okay yeah feature okay so dvr by using a dvr you can make it by reference okay so the class object the reference of your class object you can pass it through a reference right so you are not passing it by value so every time you pass a wire it will create a separate copy so you can use it by reference by using a dvr creating a dvr and put that class object in it yeah okay so uh, since the data is stored in a same memory location you will be doing a memory optimization also okay and there is one more key feature is that uh, you can have a multiple in plus element structure right earlier we have seen in the slide so there can be a multiple in plus element structure in a same vi but only one will operate at a time and the rest of the in plus element structure will be on hold and that's why it is also preventing a race conditions also but these things you have to be uh, very careful on using okay because the rest of the uh, in plus element structure will be on hold while it is updating one so it will uh, operate sequentially one by one not simultaneously so uh, it's depend on application how you want to use it so you have to be careful okay. and but this will prevent a race condition also okay yeah so there is one more thing if you are using by reference in classes so uh if you go in a class properties and in inheritance you will see this restrict reference of your class type to member vias of this class okay so what it will do it will restrict the ability to create a reference or destroy a reference okay to that specific member of the class so what will happen if you will try to generate a reference of dvr or create a reference or destroy the reference in some another uh class member so it simply breaks the new data reference function will simply breaks and it won't allow you to generate a reference and destroy the reference of a class okay so by default this value is uh, enabled tick so make sure if you are dealing with dvr so make sure to check this value okay so this will be helpful yeah so uh, there is uh, one more general practice uh, if you are using a dvr so let's consider that uh, you have a one launcher vi okay and through that launcher vi you are triggering your main application or main ui okay so if you are creating a dvr okay uh, for passing the reference of that main vi so if you are generating or creating a reference in a launcher vi so what will happen uh, you will create a dvr and then you will uh, launch the main vi and you have to pass that reference to the main vi so what will happen the launcher vi will abort after it it is of execution like it it it, uh, it was only just to launch the main vi right so it will abort it it will stop execution it after the main vi is launched okay but right now you have created a dvr inside a launcher vi and you have to use it in a main the reference the same reference you have to use it in a main vi so what will happen if your launcher vi is no longer in execution your dvr will not be a valid reference okay so your dvr is now invalid so this thing you have to be very careful about so you should create a dvr create a reference in the main itself or whatever will be your uh, longest running uh, process in your application right you have to do it in that same application because once the vi stop execution if you are creating in dvr there so after the execution it will be a invalid reference right so this will be a general practice to follow if you are using a dvr and if you are using this uh, launcher kind of uh, approach to uh, trigger your main application okay yeah so for now uh, i am having a one demo to demonstrate uh, the dvr purpose okay so yeah so right now you can see these two booleans okay 
so and there is one more option to select if we have to pass by value or pass by reference so first i will execute this vi right now the pass value is false so i will make it true okay so we'll first pass by value okay and let's see so we will get first boolean true and second boolean false and if we will pass by reference we will get both the booleans true now let's see what's happening inside it okay so right now i am having this init method so if you are selecting by value and by reference so right now inside it there are two different classes in one class uh, the method is like which is creating a dvr in another by value class it is creating just updating the uh, class object okay. let's see inside this uh, initialize method which is a dvr so right now in this dvr i have created a dvr okay and that reference is passed in a class object okay that's that's the uh, new data value reference we are talking about so you can make a reference of any data type right so you can make a data type of clusters doubles booleans class object anything okay and what i have done in by value thing nothing okay so what happening when you set the command first we'll see in dvr what we are doing we are updating the dvr okay so in that uh, dvr there is uh, a one object led state okay we are updating that led state okay in that dvr and what we were doing in just a value we are passing so nothing we just updating it in a class object right so that's the difference between updating your dvr and just updating your class object okay the same way in a get command also in dvr we are accessing that through dvr we are passing a reference and then through in plus element structure we are reading that led state status right and if you see in by value we are just accessing it through a class object okay so now once again we'll do if you are passing it by value you can see this first boolean is to the reference and again i have created a branch of this class object and the second boolean you can see is through a different so if you are using a by reference so any change here in this set led state vi so it will replicate in both the cases because the reference is same right you have updated here and after that you are reading it so both the methods will get the updated value but if you are passing it by value only you will get the true boolean in this uh, upper method okay not in the this method that is created through a branch because this is not updated right so that's the difference if you are passing it by value and passing by reference so we'll once again go through this by value yeah so you can see you are getting true value you have set it true here and you are getting true here but not in this uh, sub vi because both are the same but since it's not updated yet you will get you won't get a true value in this boolean okay and if you are passing by reference if you get false the the reference uh, will get override okay so yeah you will get both the true because it is through a same reference okay Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, this thing I would like to just touch because I haven't used uh, personally this external DVR. Uh, neither I'm having a uh, much information about that. So anyone from the participant is having uh, knowledge on this external DVR can share with the other participants. So okay. So just the things it is important in the streaming application. It creates the Uh, zero copy directly from a hardware buffer to a disk uh, and without uh, utilizing a lab view memory that's what i have uh, uh, understand and uh, these things have been discussed in a vi week so 
the video in which this is discussed is present in my references you can go through that reference so yeah just a thing i would like to touch and uh, would like to uh, bring your focus on this external dvr also i myself also in a process of exploring it uh, but yeah you can just uh, go through it and take and explain it maybe in uh, some another next uh, uh, indlex sessions uh, someone can take or me myself can take this external dvr topic okay yeah so yeah these are the references i have used 